I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to another Power BI quick tip video. This time we're looking at why we should be using the divide function at all and what does that give us over just using a, a normal slash to, to divide by within DAX. So uh, I've got an example here. Um, we're looking at fruit sales. Um, I've got two months worth of data, a January and a February set of sales um, and I've got uh, those fruit sales by country as well. Um, what you can see is we've got um, sales in most of the months um, but note that for Australia here we've got no Apple sales in January and February so we've got a zero and a zero there. Um, I've just created a couple of measures just to, to demonstrate this so, so we've got our total sales in January, total sales in February and then a month on month change measure so let me just show you that month on month change measure so we're just saying February sales, take away January sales divided by January sales to give us the, that month on month change there. But let's have a look at what happens when we select um, our, our Apple in Australia, Apple sales for Australia. I select Australia as my country, Apple as my fruit. And because we've got zero and zero here, we've got this not a number error that's appearing, um, which doesn't look particularly user friendly and, and users might not know uh, what that means, particularly if it's appearing in isolation um, without the without the zeros um, for the sales there. So uh, divide lets us get round this. So let's uh, recreate our month on month change measure, but this time we're going to use the divide function. So I'll click new measure, we'll call this month on month sales, and I'll just put divide in brackets so we know that we're using the divide function. Okay, and the syntax for the divide function. So we start off, we type divide, um, and as you can see in the tooltip that's here, we've got our numerator, then denominator. So let's start off with those. So we're saying our numerator is, um, and again, we'll have to do the the, uh, the subtraction here. So we're saying uh, February sales minus January sales. Um, and we're going to divide that by uh, January sales. I don't actually need these extra brackets in here, so let's just remove them. Um, but the power of the divide function is this third parameter here. We can we can add an alternate value, which is the value that the function will return if the denominator is zero. So where the slash that we could use would return an, uh, a not a number error if the numerator and denominator were zero, or would return blank if just the denominator was zero. This time we can express an alternate value. So um, let's choose a just a blank for now. Let's just return blank. Okay, and now let's see what happens if I create a duplicate of this card. Okay, and now let's select um, Australia and apples. And you can see that uh, while well, we've got not a number in one, we're getting blank in the other. So uh, it might be even more uh, useful to the to the consumers of the dashboard if we if we put something in here like um, uh, divide by zero error or something similar um, and we can provide whatever value we want here um, that gives a bit more clarity about about what's going on um, or we could even just uh, just keep it as um, a completely empty um, value like that um, that will just return uh, nothing at all. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please do like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any feedback or questions uh, or suggestions, please do add them to the comments underneath this video. I look forward to speaking to you again.